So here are my seven or maybe eight tips on how to beat vampire survivors for the first time. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I talk about all sorts of gaming stuff and hit the like button. It's free and it helps me out. Okay, let's get to it. Number one, right away, upgrade greed. It's the most important one because it's gonna let you get more money to unlock other stuff. So get that first. And then the very second thing you wanna do is prioritize getting a mount. It's going to increase the DPS you can do considerably, and then you can grab whatever else tickles your fancy from there on out. Tip number three, yeah, we already got through two. Tip number three, use the wiki, look up every single thing you need to unlock every item and character and prioritize doing that next. So you wanna make sure that you unlock the characters that you wanna be able to play and you unlock all of the weapons. That's gonna be very, very important. All the weapons and add-ons to mutate them, you need those. Number four, now that you've done that, or most of it, you don't need to unlock everything, but all the weapons and add-ons would be good. We're going to focus on two different builds that I think are both very viable. The first one would be a projectile or DPS build with either Gennaro or Martasio. I don't know if that's exactly how you say their names, but pretty close. Uh, preferred weapons for those would be knives, crosses, axes, whips, wands, and fire staffs. For the add-ons, whatever pairs with those weapons to make them mutate, is what you need to be prioritizing. So the playstyle is mobile. You need to constantly be moving around, targeting down bosses, and pushing out of masses and tight spaces. You can target down bosses really, really well with this build, so make sure you just kill them quick, get your bonuses as quickly as possible. Always keep moving and pushing out of those spots. You can't stay in a big mass, but that's what those knives are for. Just push in one direction. The other build would be a AOE build. For this, you can use Portia, uh, Clarissi, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, and the best would be Demario, but he's kind of hard to unlock. I think you need to get 5,000 uh, coins in one game or something to unlock him, so don't worry about it. The other ones will work, just Demario is better if you can. So the preferred weapons for this would be Garlic, Santa's Water, Bibles, Axes, Wand, Fire Stuff, Lightning Ring, and the Birds. The Birds are really, really good for this as well. Now, remember that you can go for the Rainbow Bird by getting both the Black Bird and the White Bird, and it takes two slots um, originally, but once you combine them, it'll open up a new weapon slot. So make sure you sort of plan for that, and you can actually grab the add-on for that extra weapon before you even have it, if you just plan it out very carefully. Now, it might not work out, uh, but try to do that if you can. Now the add-ons for this are whatever pairs with those weapons once again. Luckily, these things actually do synergize very well now that Santa's Water has an upgrade path. Uh, the Attract Orb is just awesome already for this build, but now it actually has a reason to be there as well. The playstyle for this is pretty self-explanatory. It is stationary. It's best played on Library, whereas the other build was better played on the open grassy map that I don't remember the name of. And tip number Five, I know tip number four was really, really long. Focus on which weapons you want to end with and which items you need to upgrade them. Only take those items. That's a huge mistake uh, that I made when I first started playing. I felt like I just had to grab whatever I saw, um, but don't settle. There's ways to sort of manipulate the system, like upgrading a weapon you already have if you don't want to take anything else that's in the list. You just have to make sure you're very choosy about what you grab. Number six. Prioritize grabbing new items you want in your finished build, then upgrading the items that you already have. When you see the next item come up, it's way better than upgrading something you already have because you want to make sure you like set everything up, right? So if you still need to grab, let's say, garlic, or you still need to grab Santa's water, don't upgrade your Bibles. Make sure you grab the new item. Once you have everything filled out, then you can start upgrading everything. Uh, focus on your high DPS weapons first, and then start upgrading your add-ons afterwards. Number seven, be aggressive. When you are winning, you need to push aggressively against the biggest waves of mobs that you can and collect as much XP as possible. This is something I messed up a lot when I started. I felt like I was always running away, trying to get extra health and stuff like that. If you're running away, you're not picking up your XP, you're not gonna get enough levels, you're not gonna get enough items, and that's what makes you win the game. So as soon as you're getting a little bit ahead and you're starting to kill stuff pretty easily, use that momentum to collect as much XP as possible. That's what's gonna make you win. Number eight, and our last point, 
adapt your playstyle and items, break all of these rules if you have to. Don't feel like you need to be rigid with your item selection. If you can get most of the items of either one of those builds, it's gonna help you a lot, but it's never gonna work perfectly. It just usually won't. Sometimes you'll get the absolute best possible situation, but if you don't, just grab whatever you have to grab at that point. If you're having trouble living through the early stages, get a cross or a lightning ring. It'll be pretty good to get you through the early to mid game. If you want to do the DPS build, but you feel like you're always getting hit by accident, you just need something to push stuff away from you, well, grab a garlic to protect yourself. Experiment and do what works for you. All right, that was the eight tips. Never really done one of these videos. Uh, maybe I'll try to aim for 10 next time I do a list video. <laughs> Top 10 ways to make your game better and stuff. Thanks for watching this video. Smack the crap out of the like button for me and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you can get all this gaming stuff from me on the most regular basis as I can provide it. Thank you for watching. Graybeard out.